Well, hello. And here we are. I'm actually walking on the wrong side of the road. Uh, I've just been dropped uh, 16 miles from home. I've just been dropped down near Rootham, near the M20. And uh, I'm now making my way home. It's about 15 and a half, 16 miles, I think. Something like that. Um, so it's just a case now of following the Pilgrim's Way. Uh, let's have a quick look, show you down the road. The Pilgrim's Way, which is where all your pilgrims used to walk down on their way from Winchester down to Canterbury Cathedral, um, historically. I suppose millions of people have trudged down here. Um, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be walking along the Pilgrim's Way for a while. Um, I've got to keep checking over my shoulder because this is a single track road. I'm going to be staying on the Pilgrim's Way. Um, it's going to be a bit of the North Downs Way. Uh, sort of just going to be a case of suck it and see really. Let's see what happens. If I can get on a footpath. North Downs Way, Trosley Country Park, one and three quarter miles. Happy days, right, but what I'm going to do, I don't want to be on the road if I can help it. So, I'm heading towards the Trosley Country Park. So, it's just a case of uh, making my way there. I've got a whole backpack full of gear. Um, I've got enough kit and food especially to last me I'm hoping to be home by tomorrow afternoon on me that's what I'm shooting for but if I uh, if I have to stay out Sunday night um, then that's not a problem that's the path I've just walked down if I have to stay out an extra night, then it's not such a big deal, really. I've got enough food. Um, I think I've got 12 sachets of coffee. Uh, and as, as per, as per usual, I've gone for uh, a good, solid diet. A good, sensible diet, healthy diet of uh, sausages and bacon and chocolate so all it is now I've got my water bottle there attached to the front of me I saw that as a tip on YouTube the other day um, so it really is just a case of following the path enjoying the countryside and uh, and seeing seeing how we end up. I come up with this idea a few months ago. Um, it's sort of been on my mind for quite some time. Looks a bit scary now, doesn't it? It's been on my mind for quite some time. Um, you know, I've been wanting to do it, but with work and one thing and another. You know, work the necessary evil. So, uh, I know it's not the Appalachian Trail or, or anything like that, but it's still quite a quite a cool little way to spend a couple of days. Um, you know, I'm bristling with technology. I've got my phone. You always have your phone. Um, let's tie that strap up in a minute. Got my phone and. Uh, so if, if the worst does come to the worst, there's always somebody at the end of a phone. So, um, it's just a case of getting on with it and seeing, seeing how I end up. And I've got a little star come up here. Um, 
could have done with just an open slot like at the other end but I've got off the road for a little bit so that's all that matters now you have to walk down the right side of the road so that you can see the traffic coming towards you and you can dive out of the way if necessary so but happily I'm dressed all in black sounds like a dog on the other side of this hedge let's see dogs that looks like a Newfoundland nice dog good dog oh, crikey <laughs> I wonder what they call him. Kenworth, probably. <laughs> Kenworth, a big black dog. So, um, let's just have a quick look up there, though. There's houses nestled up there. It's nice around here. Um, I don't know where. I know, I've seen on the map where I'm going. I've studied the maps been on the Ordnance Survey website, been on Google Maps, um, I've been looking on that, studying that, it's just a case of getting boots on the ground and seeing what's what, now what I'm trying to do is use my ears to listen for the sound of traffic and uh, just listening out really, I don't want to get run over in the first hour. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is have a look, what's this say? <laughs> the National Trust, Rootham Heath. Oh, Rootham Water. Uh -huh. Right, well there we are. So, uh, right, I'm going to crack on and uh, get my marching boots going. I've just had to stop for a couple of minutes. Um, the pack I've got is really, really heavy. Um, I just had to stop. I had my hoodie on and I started to get really warm. So I thought, well, I'll tight round my waist for now and uh, keep on moving. It was also a blessed relief to have this pack off my shoulders. It's sitting right on my back, but it's just the sheer weight of it. The sheer weight is absolute killer. Um, I've only packed what I thought I realistically needed. I've not gone, um, I've not got extreme at all, really. Um, so what can you do? I'm just uh, making my way now. I don't know what it was. Um, on the Pilgrim's Way still. Uh, didn't turn off up the North Downs Way. I've not wanted to do that. Because from what I can see and what I've looked at on the map, um, at this point, the North Downs Way only takes me off in a bit of a loop and doesn't actually, but then comes back onto Pilgrim's Way anyway. So, it's all a bit, you know, and the signposting in places isn't wonderful. I've got to tell you, what's this say? Rootum water. <sighs> Keeping your dogs under close control. Um, yeah, I've only packed what I thought I needed to. I didn't pack any frivolous items at all. <laughs> Overexposed there. And there's no, oh God, 
there's no particular reason for me doing this aside from the the want of something to do it's got to be in my pack it's just a want of something to do um, I could stay at home hot time off work I could stay at home doing nothing and that wouldn't get me anywhere so. coming up to a road now coming up onto a road hopefully I can cross straight over which I can't that figures no signs no signs um, I suppose I shall just have to consult uh, Google Maps good old Google Maps and see where I am uh, I don't want to go that way I suppose Um, go this way then. So, I've, uh, I'll read that in a minute. I've put some stuff on Instagram and I've blogged some stuff. Brygrills.blogspot.com The main focus though is just walking and uh, trying to relax as much as I can with this enormous weight on me. Let's just have a look and see where we end up. I was having a, having a cheeky sit down and uh, I'm adjusting all my straps and stuff and then this dog just sort of appeared and he had a bonio in his mouth and the old dog biscuits. And I thought, oh, well that means that somebody's going to be along in a minute with this dog. You know, they've let the dog go on ahead. So I sat there for another minute or so. There was nobody. <laughs> Just this random dog that appeared. Walked past where I was and went up into this bit there. There was a path I sat on the stile. And, uh... It's this random dog who's been given a bonio and thought, I don't know I'm going to go and eat that. And he wasn't an aggressive dog. I don't know what kind of dog it was. It's a tall, thin dog. I don't know. Just, he thought, well, it's quiet over there. I'll go and, uh, I'll go and eat my bonio over there. And then when I looked round, he was gone again. Um, I've had to put my hoodie over my shoulders like this, it was too hot to wear and it started to slip and I tied it around my waist and then it started to slip so I thought I couldn't be doing with it so I thought I'd uh, put it over my backpack for a bit probably until I'll break for lunch. Probably. Well, I'm walking along and I'm at a bit of a junction now. I'm just going to have to check which way I actually want to go. Um, restricted byway, North Downs where I've just come from there. Um, I was standing here and I noticed it's a little building. Um, a random building, brick built building, middle of nowhere. I don't know what it's for. Uh, concrete floor. It's got some strange tank thing in there. Graffiti as usual. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'll mark that on the map. And uh, while I was around here just now, a group of cyclists came through. Yeah, yeah just a random building. So uh, I think I'll have a quick map check and uh, find out which one I'm going. So here we are. I'm just around the corner from Badgel's Wood. Been camping there before in the past. Uh, I'm still making my way along the North Downs Way. I just stopped for a minute to have a quick breather, get this massive pack off my back, and uh, I encountered a, a couple walking their dog. So I chatted to them for a few minutes, and uh, and that was nice. That was nice. So um, sort of told them what I was doing, and uh, you know. It's probably a bit mad, isn't it? You know, having your wife drive you somewhere, drop you off, and then walking home. That's a bit, it's a bit bonkers, really, isn't it? But, whew. but like I said to the couple there, the dog walkers, never let fear and common sense hold you back. Yes, but this is what I'm seeing at the moment. This is what I'm seeing. I saw a few cyclists. I've not seen any for a little while though. When I was at that brick hut thing. Um, but I've not seen any. Apart from those, that couple, I've not seen anyone for a little while. <laughs> so there you go. Crack. I'm all the way out here. Middle of God's nowhere. And we've got a suspension leg with a brake disc and caliper attached to it. Looks like a hole. Front steering set up from a car of some sort. I had to get all the way out here. I can't work it out. I'm just trying to sort my sleeve out. I've got me my old hoodie over me shoulders. And that's keeping me nice and warm. It's just what I want. Uh, and just a bit downhill. The lady did say actually. She said no, it's all downhill now. And uh, I said yeah. She should know this is. I think she could have been right there. So, oh, I'm gonna have to have a look. And anything I don't use in this bag, if I do this again, won't be coming. Next time I'll only bring stuff that I use. I don't think I've been that. I don't think I've actually gone that mad with it. I don't think I'd gone too extreme. Literally just enough gear. If I don't make it back tomorrow, then I've got just enough food to get me home Monday morning. So I don't think, and it's only sausages and bacon. Mind you, once I stop for lunch, I'll have a time to eat and a cup of coffee because I've got the trouble is, there's no fresh water sources in this part of the world, no streams or anything. So I've had to bring, the heavy part really, is the water. That's the heavy, heavy part. And once I've used up some of that, had a cup of tea, um, you know, had my lunch, stuff like that. Refilled, refilled this water bottle here. That'll make life a bit easier, I imagine. So, what have we got coming up here? Looks like we've got a bit of a, an opening coming up. And I'm gonna have to see what's down here. Let's see how many miles I've done so far. Um, 
I'm coming up for five miles. Five brutal miles. It took me all morning. But, but there you go, I'm not on the clock. I haven't got to get back for anything. So, uh, so there you go. A highly ambitious plan has come to an end. I've decided to call it. And I'm going to, as shameful as it is, tap out. And, uh, and go home. <laughs> there it is. I've done six miles with a 30 kilo pack because I weighed myself before I left home, before and after. So, so there it is. Defeated. <laughs>